Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video we're talking about what we can learn from George Soros' investment techniques and how we can apply it to cryptocurrency to make a lot of money. This video is not going to tell you to invest in a coin to make money from it. This video will teach you to think for, your, for yourself and make your own money and do your own analysis. So it's a quite an important video and um, I, I advise you to watch it and, and do your own research afterwards to, to learn more about this because whatever you think about George Soros, um, I'm not, I mean, I I love learning from him but he I'm not going to comment on his ethics because I'm from England and he's known as the man who broke the Bank of England um, so I'm not going to comment on his on, on his character or, or him as a person I'm going to talk 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 about him as an investor and he's one of the most successful inve investors in the world and um, so there's a lot you can learn from him. I've learned a lot from his theory of reflexivity and I've read a lot about him I've read his books and he's a great person to le learn from so I'm going to talk about his theory of reflexivity and um, how what, what it means how how, how, how it can apply to cryptocurrency and finally I'll talk about what it means for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin price prediction so before I get into this video a quick update on the market is similar to my prediction yesterday's guys Bitcoin is still quite range bound it might break out to 10,000 or slightly over 10,000 and then there might be another dip I think there might be another a dip before it go, goes on that bull run but that's just my prediction we'll have to see how Bitcoin plays out and then I'll change my um, prediction soon then I'll make my prediction, not change my prediction. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to make, waiting to see how the market plays. Um, EOS was in a massive bull run. I sold, it, it went up to over $20. Uh, $20. I sold mine about 16 So I've sold it a lot lower than after even 10%. But it's important to take profits, guys. I always tell all my subscribers, take some profits. Because otherwise, you, you might not have anything. If you've invested in Bitcoin in 2017 and you didn't take profit, um, at 20000 it's dropped now. So it's important when you run a price goes up 20 30 percent take some profits cardano is another f uh, favorite coin of mine is doing well neo i've sold some neo already and um, i don't know if it will drop further but it was a lot higher up from when i bought so i took some profits um yeah it's similar to what i said yesterday and i think nano is doing well and uh, nano is another coin that's doing quite well now ontology is down but that's just a quick update. Uh, before I get into this video, guys, please subscribe to my channel, guys. I do technical analysis, price predictions, and um, just give you guys the latest cryptocurrency news. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel, I'm sure you're up to date with the most cryptocurrency news. I try and do a video every day. It means a lot to me, your subscription. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me a lot to bring you guys the best content. So please consider scrolling down and clicking subscribe, and I'll bring you guys the latest news, trading signals, and also teach you guys some do some tutorials on theories of investment investment cryptocurrency so please do consider subscribing to my channel so before I attempt to explain it I'll let the man himself explain what what theory of reflexivity is then, then and, and this is really your your theory of reflexivity that's right do that's you think people should un understand it more do people yeah, very much so I, I you know I wrote a book uh, 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 called the age of fallibility and I uh, there I argued that we've had the 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 age of reason uh, with the enlightenment, and we have had two two hundred years of enlightenment. And during those two hundred years, we discovered that actually uh, uh, reason uh, uh, doesn't prevail, uh, and and that our understanding is fallible. And we now have to learn to live with, in a world which we don't fully understand. And we have to realize that our understanding is bound to be somehow biased and, uh, and that our bias actually uh, influences then what happens. Uh, so it makes uh, uh, reality very difficult to understand because it's constantly changing. But why can the West... So that was a quick introduction to to what what theory of reflexivity is by George Soros himself. Now I'm going to attempt to do my bit and explain it to my understanding. So what is reflexivity? Reflexivity is a theory that a two-way feedback loop exists in which investors' perceptions affect that environment, which in turn changes investors' perception. The theory of reflexivity has its roots in social science, but in the world of economics and finance, it's a primary proponent is George Soros. So 
the, in, in simple terms, guys, reflexivity theory states that investors don't base their decisions on reality, but their perceptions of reality. So what he talks about a lot is George Soros is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So in simple terms to explain the situation is if you think that, I don't know, you're you're confident or you're good at your job, you, your performance at job will get better and then you'll keep performing better and you're thinking that you're good at your job will get even better. It's about looks as well. If you think you're good looking, you'll you tend to do better with the opposite sex. If you're if you think you're a good looking male, you you attract more female. More female will be attracted to you, and and you'll think you you think that you're even more attractive, and you'll even attract more women. So it's, it's about same with money. It's kind of like law of attraction, and um, basically law of attraction is a bit more woo woo. I don't know whether it's a good comparison or not, but that. That helped me understand this theory, but this theory is a lot, lot more in depth, and I think it's difficult for me to explain it in a small video. You need to read books to understand it. But main thing to to learn from this video is what the decisions that we make are not based on reality; it's based on a perception of a reality. So, for example, if we think Virgin is going to the moon, all people around us are saying Virgin is going to the moon. We might start believing ourselves that Virgin is a really good coin. It might not actually be a good coin. So, it's very important to research as much as you can get different perspective ask different people so i'm not trying to teach asking you guys to learn reflexivity but learn uh, appreciate that we might not be right and our decisions can be biased with loads of different things could because of our values where we live but it's important to read about it get different perspectives and then making your decision so few things he talks about is um the fallibility i don't know if i've pronounced it right my pronunciation is not great but he, he in, in in here it talks about that the um the principle is it's a distorted views can influence the situation to which they relate because false views leads to inappropriate actions so in one word uh, our view of this world is is quite partial and distorted um it's not we can't actually predict what the reality is so for instance treating drug addicts as criminals creates criminal behaviors so if, you, if we have a negative connotation for drug addicts we'll think that they're criminal and then that in turn will um will make our belief stronger and stronger so he talks about fallibility and reflexivity an example um he talks about is kind of the positive effects so there is positive it can have a positive effect or a negative effect so if you think about that it's, it's raining and that statement could be true or false, that's a fact. But if you think about um, saying this is a revolutionary moment, or if we say that Bitcoin is going to be revolutionary, it's a, if reflexive, if it's, it's reflexive. So it's our opinion, and it's not based on a true value that you can say that is Bitcoin is going to be um, great. I think Bitcoin will be great. I've tried to look at different perspectives. I've looked at negatives, positives. But overall, I think Bitcoin is great. So it's just appreciating that our decision is not always correct, and we need to we need to be open to learning from other people and if that's the summary if you can get that bit that's great if, if you enjoy this kind of thinking i'm really into psychology and philosophy so i do this sort of research i, I appreciate this video is slightly different to my usual videos but i wanted to share this uh, information and and one last thing that i'd like to say is the reflexive feedback loops so if it's a positive feedback loop, loops, if we think that Bitcoin is going up and it keeps going up and we think that, oh, it's great and we keep believing Bitcoin will go up and up and up and it might be overbought, the price might be uh, too, price might go up too high and then there's a crash and, and the negative um, the negative feedback loop would be we think Bitcoin will go up, but Bitcoin goes down. We think, oh, I was wrong. Let me sit back and think what, where I went wrong. So you can learn from, from the crashes you, you, from January. If, if something goes up really high, ask yourself, why is it going up? Is it going to crash? Is it going to go down? So understanding kind of why things happen and learning from your mistakes is quite important. So what does it mean for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? So one here, here it talks about so this article is quite good this article made me make this video because i'm interested in reflexivity and this article made me want to do a video because i think people we, we, people can learn a lot from it so the way they explain it is sometimes it's quite insignificant at other times it is quite pronounced so the theory of reflexivity every bubble has two components an underlying trend that prevails uh, in reality and a misconception relating to that trend so that is quite a uh, profound and quite an impactful thought i'd like to see how they've explained it because it might help you so there are two realities objective and subjective the subjective aspect covers what 
takes place in our mind an objective aspect is what takes place in reality so what takes place in our mind has an effect with the objective aspect and what takes place in reality has an effect on our mind so it's a two-way feedback loop it's quite deep so you don't need to learn understand it and unless you're interested in it um, it took me a long time to get my head around it and understand it properly so what does it mean for cryptocurrency the more people who form a positive view on bitcoin the more the price will soar and vice versa this is what happened last year when the price bit of bitcoin jumped it attracted more users which further juiced the price which brought in more people so it's just you see the feedback loop it went up the people thought oh bitcoin's great and the, the thinking changed and people started buying more bitcoin um but in 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 the reflexivity of economic actors is confirmed by the proliferation of subcultures and fan groups emerging around various projects in the young and volatile cryptocurrency near religious beliefs about price appreciation with reference to various intrinsic valuation models can be observed daily so it talks about the current kind of the religious views that we have as a as a bitcoin and a blockchain believer uh, we believe in blockchain and, and bitcoin so much and, and it's important sometimes to understand why have we got this belief i'm again i'm massive bullish on bitcoin i'm invested heavily i've got a lot of skin in the game so I, I like bitcoin a lot and they've given another example they talk about icos there's a lot of regulations coming in icos and investors lost money so this year icos are not doing well so that was kind of we've learned from it um so yeah i mean what, what what's going to happen how how will this affect um this 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 affect you yourself the, the most important thing is to learn from it and and when you're not analyzing a coin think about this keep be aware of this and implement it finally guys i'll talk about what's what what's what's going on with soros rockefeller and investment a lot of money coming into bitcoin uh, how it's going to affect us this little point that i'd like to, to show you is um how how investors coming in is a positive for bitcoin but there's a uh, currently bitcoin is not going up as much why is it not going up up as much it could be because of this so a lot of people are, um, are not investing in bitcoin now because there, there's regulatory uncertainty so people that pumped up bitcoin before is not in the market now because there's regulatory uncertainty on the other hand if regulations come in big investors and institu institutional investors like soros pension funds hedge funds will come in so it's a positive positive so if regulations come in bit more big money will come in so regulations is actually good for cryptocurrency and, and the other people that you know that were in the market previously the previous investors will come back in as well so bitcoin will be massive so i wanted to end on a positive note and wanted to share you this but it just shows you that people that weren't involved in Bitcoin before are coming into Bitcoin like Soros. He called Bitcoin a bubble, but now Soros is investing in Bitcoin. Could Warren Buffett change his mind and come into Bitcoin? Um, but this big investment, some people think is not good. Regulation is not good. But this is helping Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to go into mainstream. So I believe this is a really, really good thing for Bitcoin. So that was just a quick video, guys. I wanted to share you this quick thought that I had about reflexivity. I hope you enjoy it, enjoy it, guys, and use this information to keep yourself safe in the crazy money, crazy world of internet of money. Do your research, guys. Do not just listen to someone online and, and just buy buy a buy a coin because someone said it will go to ten dollars it will go to hundred dollars do your own research and also ask yourself am i um, being biased in my thinking just there's a two-way feedback think about this theory of reflexivity and then try to be very critically and analyze your thinking and and in your actions and it will make you a better trader better investor and better at making decisions so i hope you guys enjoyed this video guys i'll do more videos on price predictions and analysis but i, I really like to share this uh, thoughts as well and kind of how to how to guys and investment guys if you guys enjoy it i'll do more videos like this and um, but this sort of videos doesn't get many views and um, I, I tend to get more views when i do it on price predictions and, and speculations but these videos are more helpful and kind of how to guides so if i get enough video if i get like a thousand views on, on this video i'll do more of this how to investment tips where, where you can learn how to invest and improve yourself as an investor long term and short term and i'll do more of this but if not guys i'll keep carry on doing price predictions speculation videos keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money and i'll still be releasing and uh, trading signals on twitter and instagram so i hope you guys enjoyed it guys and um, if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and i will be doing another video later on today so thank you very much guys and i'll see you guys soon